Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Cultivate tenderness in the home, September 19. And above all things, have firm charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. 1 Peter 4 8. The young man who came to Jesus asked what he should do that he might inherit eternal life. Jesus told him to keep the commandments and enumerated several of the precepts of the law. The young man said, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Matthew chapter 19 verse 20 The first four commandments enjoin upon man the duty of loving God supremely and the last six present the requirements of loving our neighbors as ourselves. How many are truly, sincerely, and wholeheartedly doing this? The Lord is coming in a little while, and we are performing the duties that result from righteousness. Love is the basis of godliness. No man has love to God, no matter what his profession may be, unless he has unselfish love for his brother. As we love God because he first loved us, we shall love all for whom Christ died. We shall not feel like letting the soul who is in the greatest peril and in the greatest need go unwarned, unlabored for and uncared for. We shall not feel like holding the erring off and be critical and exacting or letting them alone to plunge in further unhappiness and discouragement and to fall on Satan's battleground. For the Lord will deal with us as he deals with our brethren or the younger members of the Lord's family. Cultivate tenderness of heart. Surround yourselves in your home life with the atmosphere of love. But the spirit that has largely pervaded the church is an offense to God. Everyone who has been free to condemn, to dishearten and to discourage, who has failed to give tender kindness, sympathy and compassion to the tempted and the tried, will in his own experience be brought over the ground which others have passed over and suffered their hard-heartedness and will feel what others have suffered because of his want of sympathy until he shall abhor his hard-heartedness of heart and open the door for Jesus to come in. The converting power of God must come to every soul who has any connection with the work and cause of God that each one may be filled with the love and compassion of Christ or many will never see the kingdom of heaven.